Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So another advent calendar. I am obsessed. I hope you are too. There's still quite a few to come. I've got a couple still to film that I've got here and I've got plans for some going forward as well. So do sincerely hope you are enjoying these videos. So today we have the Boohoo calendar and just before we get started I'm going to try my best today to make things in focus. The problem I had with my pretty little thing calendar which I didn't even think about until I came to edit and everything was out of focus was a problem that has happened with this advent calendar too. So I'm just going to open it up and I'll show you what I mean. It is massive, it's the same size as the pretty little thing one. But look, we have lots and lots of faces. Now, possibly it is my own fault for having um, technology, shall we say. <laughs> if I was filming this on my phone, I don't think I'd have this problem. My camera is set up so it focuses on faces. So if I'm holding up a product, you'll often see me put my hand up and that is to cover my own face because if it can see my face it's not going to focus on the product it's going to focus on my face so that's why I always put my hand up because I'm trying to block my face from the camera what I didn't realize when I was filming the pretty little thing um calendar or didn't even think about I'm blocking my own face I couldn't block the like eight faces that were on the calendar as well so for this video I'm probably not going to have the, the calendar completely open the whole time I will show you elements of the calendar like when I'm opening doors and things like that but when I'm showing you the products I'm going to have it closed and hopefully it might take a bit longer to film but hopefully that will resolve the issue because I was so cross when I was filming that and I'm like why is nothing in focus and then it dawned on me that there was about eight faces on that calendar so yeah it even recognises photos of faces not just actual faces which is so bizarre kind of cool but it's like the technology hasn't really got where it needs to be yet to know which is a real face and which one isn't so yeah I think they need to work on that but anyway you're not here to listen to me ramble on about my camera issues so let's crack on in so this is another huge calendar this costs 40 pounds and from the last calendar I think I recall that works out to be a £1.66 or £1.67 a door so less than £2 a door so as I'm going through I'm going to be thinking about that because obviously we can't compare it to like a £90 advent calendar because that wouldn't be fair so we are going to treat it as it is a cheaper advent calendar £40, 24 doors, £1.66 a day so Number one is down here at the bottom. So this is the first product and this is the Lip Lava by I Heart Revolution. It actually says I Heart Makeup, which is a little concerning to me. This brand hasn't been in existence for quite some time. It is now I Heart Revolution. It also says on it under um, license for Tam Beauty. Tam Beauty are the creators of Revolution but I don't even think they call themselves Tam Beauty anymore. So yeah this is a possibly quite old product um, but yeah let's have a look at it and see what it's like. So here it is it's just a very pretty coral lipstick um, but yeah it does concern me that it's I Heart Makeup. Um, if it was I Heart Revolution, it wouldn't concern me. It's just the fact that it might be old. Let me just do a quick Google. Okay, so I couldn't find out exactly when this brand stopped, but I did find an article from April 2018 that was talking about I Heart Revolution and it replacing I Heart Makeup. So, yeah, this is a bit of an old product, but anyway let's not let's not dwell too much let's move on it's only sort of day one so day number two is a pair of lashes by in vogue i don't think i've heard of this brand before but they do look like quite pretty lashes they're not really my style i do prefer ones that um get wider 
at the edges, the outer corners rather than in the middle, but they are decent enough looking. Um, they have a clear lash band and it is a really thin clear lash band, so that is amazing. So yeah, that's item number two. So number three is this gorgeous red um, headband, the kind of one you would wear when you're doing your makeup or a face mask, and it is gorgeous and soft really really lovely this is very similar in quality to the one in i think it was glossy box very very similar really really nice product so day number four are some tanologist tan drops these are in the shade medium so it says add one to twelve drops into your um moisturizer so yeah I was gonna say it wouldn't it wouldn't it would last quite a long time but I suppose it depends how many you use because if you're using 12 it's not gonna last that long but I would guess that 12 would make it a dark tan and I don't understand why this was in this door either <laughs> can we just have a look at this door look at this door look how big it is and then it was just in there I don't know whether maybe a different product was meant to be in there because that is not really the right door for that um, size product. So day number five is this lip liner. So the shape of it is really, really good. It goes to sort of a diagonal point so you can get a really precise line, which I do like. So I've managed to do a really, really precise line there. It's a nice colour. It goes well with the other um, lip product. So this is day number six and here we have a set of two soothing sheet masks. These are designed to leave your skin feeling fresh, purified and revitalised. So they sound really really good because I do often have sensitive skin and if they're going to soothe sensitive skin when I'm having a bit of a a flare then I think that's really gonna help so day number seven is this pair of lash curlers not the most exciting product we could get in an advent calendar but if you haven't got a pair then they are handy for you day number eight is an I Heart revolution product so this actually says I Heart revolution and I have had one of these recently so this is a recent product okay so this is an eyeliner or so it says it looks like this it possibly would be more suited as an eyeliner topper um i do think it's quite nice when you do a black liner and then put something iridescent over the top or you could put it over your eyeshadow as well it's not really that um strong in colour and it's not very opaque in colour either so I think it would get lost on its own unless maybe you were doing a really dark eye look and then had this as your liner but I still think it might disappear don't even think it's showing up that well on camera I think it's disappearing on my hand number nine is for, from one of my favourite brands this is a bubble tea product so this is the um, grape tea bath pearls. I have used bubble tea bath pearls in the past. I think grape tea must be a new um, scent for this year because I've not heard of grape tea before. Um, but I have tried quite a few of their other scents. They did a, a subscription service for a while which they kindly gifted to me in PR each month and there was quite a few different scents coming through on that but they didn't have this one so I'm presuming this is a new for Christmas scent. I'm very interested to see what grape is like. We don't get a lot of grape things in this country. I think I've said that in the past when I've been doing like um, American candy. We don't get a lot of grape candy. I don't think we get a lot of grape anything in this country. Um, so yeah, very interested to give that one try so this is day number 10 and this is the hand brand cuticle revitalizer so it's a manicure stick so a cherry stick Are they called cherry stick cherry wood stick i don't know a um nail file and a cuticle revitalizer so i'm presuming that is like a cuticle cream or a cuticle oil but yeah, I mean, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but 
when I can be bothered, I do my own acrylic nails, which to be honest, I don't think I've done for 12 months, to be honest with you. But things like that are really handy if you're not going to go and get a manicure and you want to do it at home. Day number 11 is a very wearable nail polish. So this is by Rimmel. It's called O'Shelly and it is just a almost like nude toned peachy um coloured nail varnish so it's going to be very similar to your skin colour obviously if you've got pale skin like me it's not gonna you know be anything too sort of out there I think that's good because it is wearable so most people will be able to wear that also because it is quite pale if um it wasn't a colour you would want to wear it would be suitable as a undercoat as well so yeah i suppose it's quite versatile in that respect so day 12 is a pair of gold eyelash applicators personally i would never use an eyelash curler that is this shape anymore i did used to use them this shape and i did like them for a while now i find it easier i'll show you mine so i take one that looks like this and I use that to sort of pinch the lashes together. Um, this shape I just find quite difficult to work with, quite awkward. It's not very precise because you can grab things by the end of this one. And I use ordinary tweezers to attach them because you can just grab the exact point you want. So you can put, I'll just put myself in the eye. So you can put the lash exactly where you want. With that, I feel like you're more, you know, but it is personal preference. I know people that do like this type of applicator. And I also know people that just use the fingers. So, you know, it's just what works for you. So this is number 13 and it's a product by Sleek. And what a stunning shade this is. I don't even know what shade to call it. Is it red? Is it orange? I think it's red with orange glitter. And this is a lip topper. I don't know how well it's going to show up how duochrome it is it's not looking that exciting in the viewfinder but honestly it is stunning and we just have a classic carmex always handy to have especially in the winter months but again it's not something that would really get me too excited about receiving but i use lip balms constantly so it will get used so 15 is a beauty blender and it's got no make on it it's just in a plastic bag which i find a little strange it just looks like this it does actually feel quite nice if you've seen my other unboxings i had a morphe one and that was a lot firmer this is my perfect amount of bounce i love the feel of that so 16 is a brow product by sunkist so this is the easy brow two-in-one pencil with spoolie brush now this is in the shade medium dark which i'm gonna say is probably gonna be too dark for me but we will have a look and see what it looks like so we have the spoolie end which is quite generic and then the pencil end is like a goof proof it's the shape of a goof proof i'm actually not going to swatch this because when i do use a pencil it is literally just at the ends of my brows just where i'm a bit sparse filling them in slightly i don't do my whole brows in pencil so one that's this shape isn't ideal for me i use the precisely my brow from benefit because i'm trying to get a really sharp point on the ends for 17 is just a tannin mitt it's quite a cute one it's by a brand called velvo tan i haven't actually heard of this brand before but it is made in the uk so i guess that means less air miles so that's always good so 18 is this skinny tan and it is chocolate and i can smell it and i've not even tried to open it it's still sealed it's still got its seal on and i can smell it it smells so strongly of chocolate which is really really nice um so it's just saying it's milk chocolate suitable for face and body satin finish lasts all day washes off chocolate aroma and it is absolutely so strong and it's making me hungry um this is vegan and cruelty free as well which is great and 
I've heard lots of good things about Skinny Tan. I haven't really tried many tanning products myself, but I have heard that it is a really great brand. Again, this is a UK based brand. Um, so again, it's good for the air miles. So if you see a red mark here, I've just literally wet myself in the face with the product. So 19, we have a highlighting palette by Sleek. And this sounds a bit rattly, so I'm a bit worried it might be smashed. But we will find out. Very gorgeous. The packaging is beautiful. It's definitely rattling inside. Oh, we're okay. It's the brush that's rattling. This is absolutely stunning. I'm just going to pop the brush out so that you can see how gorgeous is that i was gonna say i'm not swatching this because i will probably pass it along and now i've seen it i am swatching the heck out of it <laughs> pretty sure it's only the pink that's gonna work on my skin which is the top one that's not really showing up because you know it's perfect for my skin tone but yeah i would wear these as um eyeshadows to be honest with you the top one i'd wear as a highlighter and the rest as eyeshadows they are absolutely stunning sleek are very inclusive when it comes to makeup so they always try and cater for the darker skin tones as well as the lighter skin tones i know um not all brands are that inclusive so that is why there is such a range of um highlighters in here because you've got the pale one perfect for me and then at least hopefully one of these would work for everybody else um, that is not as pale as I am. And yeah, it is absolutely beautiful. There's some glitter in here, but there's not too much glitter. It's just the perfect balance. So absolutely made up with that. And how pretty is the box as well? Just everything about it, the packaging they feel nice on the fingers when you're swatching them they feel nice and smooth on the skin and they do actually blend out really really well as well i'm just going to blend them out and show you so that's just me blending them out with my fingers and they do blend out lovely so i do think they're going to be great as eyeshadows too so 20 is a barry m nail paint and it's in a gorgeous gold sparkly color do like the look of this the the color is called majestic sparkle so that one is nice as well okay so next we have some lashes by eyelaw and i love eyelaw lashes so if it's not unicorn lashes i'm wearing it's usually eyelaw and these ones are so so pretty so yeah another great product they always have really thin lash bands and they're really easy to apply so that is why i love them this one actually comes with its glue and with a applicator up there so that's quite handy okay so at this point i feel like i'm collecting these we have another um roller jade roller um I'm trying to see i can see a brand name on it but i can't see what it says candy cosmetics i think it is jade roller um so at this point i think i'm up to five jade rollers that i own which is insane um but yeah i will pass this along it will not get wasted so this is a product by okay i love this brand they are an amazing um korean skincare brand they specialize in masks but they do do other skincare products as well so this is a three-step mask so it has everything you kind of need um for your skin so it starts with a foaming face wash then we've got an exfoliating precision buffing pad and then we've got an oil controlling t-zone mask I'm dry skin, so this one's not suitable for me. Um, maybe they could have put something in that was just hydrating or something like that that might be suitable for more different skin types. But if you do have oily or spot prone skin, then this is probably going to be a great product because, yeah, I do love this brand. It's just not a product that I would need. And we have another chocolate orange palette. I'm pretty sure this one was in the other advent calendar that i did the other day so that was the um pretty little thing one i'm pretty sure it's the same one which is the chocolate orange yeah looks the same 
Again, I'm not going to swatch this because I have plans for these two palettes because they are the same. That makes it even easier for me. So, yeah, that is the chocolate orange palette. I'll show you it again. So, there it is there. And it is just quite a neutral... Um, very wearable palette so that would be great for somebody that's just starting to get into makeup just starting to experiment because there are some sort of orange shades and things but yeah that is everything that's in this calendar um overall feelings on this calendar compared to the pretty little thing one i probably would say i prefer the pretty little thing one they are very similar um but there's just a few little bits and pieces in this one that I'm not entirely keen on. Um, but for the price, it's still not a bad calendar for the price. We're talking £1.66 a day. So I think as I go along with these calendars, I get my expectations get higher because if I've already had something, the first time I had it, I might have gone, oh, this is amazing. The next time it's like, oh this is good but I already have one and then the third time it's like another one of these so it's not really fair on the third calendar that I've opened because the first calendar got a glowing review for the same product so I do have to remember that a little bit as I'm going through they are still my honest opinions but obviously over time opinions change especially if you're doing the same thing over and over you get to a point where you've had too many of something so I really have to rein that in I think going forward but I will try my best but as always I hope you did enjoy this video if you did please give me a thumbs up it really does help my channel I'll pop down in the description a link to this calendar and also a link to my advent calendar playlist because I think I'm on this might be eight or nine. I'm, I'm, I'm losing count. That is how many I've done. And um, yeah, so go out and check out my other videos. You can see what other advent calendars are on offer. And I hope to see you very soon in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.